Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about uh, finding the foot of perpendicular from point to line. So the question statement is like this. Let's say we're given a line, right? And let's call the line L. Then let's say we're given a point C. How do we find the, the projection of this point C onto the line L such that this is perpendicular? So let's call this F. And um, yeah, we'll see that today we'll be using the dot product. So now the dot product actually comes in useful when we want to find the projection. So yeah, so to find the vector, to find the position vector of F, in other words, OF, right, where this is the origin, it, um, yeah, so, so since we know, first of all, since we know that F, F lies on the line, we can write that OF equals to A plus lambda B for some lambda, for some real number lambda. And do note that this is different from the definition of a line. When we define a line, we wrote, we wrote this, right? For lambda is in the real numbers. For when we wrote the definition of a line like that, we were referring, we were trying to say that the lambda spans across all real numbers. So the collection of all the position vectors, right? So for example, lambda lambda equals to zero will get you this at this point, then lambda equals to one will give you this point, lambda equals to two will give you this point, right? We're saying that we have a collection of all um all the points defined by different values of lambda, which will give us the entire line. So this is a set of points. It's an infinite set of points, right, which defines the line, right, because a line is a collection of many, many points. So this is an infinite set of points. So it's for all values of lambda. But right now, we're trying to say that the F is a single point, right, this is a single point, and it equals to A plus lambda B for some value of lambda. So one of these infinitely many infinitely many possible values for lambda, one of them is going to be precisely our point F which lies on the line. So that's the difference between the sum lambda over here versus the all lambda over here. Okay? So yeah. So we don't really know what the value of lambda is yet. That's why we represent it with a unknown variable lambda which we will solve for later. So yeah, so OF is this. Um, but 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 that's not just all the information we're given. So F is special in the sense that it lies on the line. But another special property of F is that CF right, is perpendicular to the line. So that means that CF right, is perpendicular to the line. So that means CF dot, the directional vector of the line, is 0. Because the directional vector of the line will be something like this. And CF right, is C A F or F C, um, okay. Let's write it as F C, right? Doesn't really matter, but F C is zero. Uh, F I'm sorry, sorry. F C is like this. So F C dot B directional vector line is zero. So um, if we rewrite this, right? We know that F C equals to O C minus O F. So F O C minus O F dot B equals to zero. And so from these, from these two equations, right? These two, these two equations are the defining properties of f. These two, they define f. Right? This one over here, the first equation, the second equation over here tells you that f is the perpendicular uh, projection from c onto the line such that f c dot b is zero, and the first equation tells you that f is a point on the line. So these two you nearly define f um, and we solve for f by using these two information and to solve for it we massage equation 2 into this and then we substitute 1 into into above into this above equation so that will give us a um, that will give us oc which we are given Right, which we know from the question, minus a plus lambda b 
dot b equals to zero. So these are all quantities that we are given in the question. So in this case, we would know the question will give us the point C, right? So because they want us to find the projection of C onto the line. They will give us the line L, which means that they give us the A and B. And so all we have to do is solve for lambda. So now we solve for lambda. And then we and then we plug it back onto into the original equation. So sub lambda into equation one to find OF. And then we have currently found we have we have found the goal. Um we have, we have achieved the goal of finding the position, the position vector, the point that you get when you project C onto the line. So yeah, so that's how you find the perpendicular, how you find the foot of the perpendicular from a point C onto the line L. And yeah, so I I I will not be going um okay, so I'm thinking whether I should do a